What's toxic things parents say to their children? Welcome to Reddit Rundown. Today, we will share again one of the top relatable posts on Reddit's Ask Reddit page. I guess I'm a bad mom. This is super manipulative and manipulates the child into feeling bad, so the mom always gets her way. My favorite thing my mother ever did, and boy she did a lot of toxic aff things, was taking me to the hospital after a major depressive episode that was just really bad. We're in the emergency room, and the crisis counselor comes in and my mother, lovely woman, starts laughing and saying, oh, you know it's all my fault. Worst mother here, etc. And she continued to do this until the counselor threw her out. The son of introduced neighbor name is so much better at introduced domestic task or school subject than you. Quit talking back when you're trying to have an actual discussion with them and not an argument. What will other people think, common line, but extremely damaging? What will other people think is the primary means by which society doesn't completely fall apart? Look at what you made me do, as if kids have that kind of power or responsibility over their parents' behavior. Why can't you be more like your brother? You can't leave the table until you clean your plate. Perfect. Let's start teaching kids unhealthy eating habits and to continue eating even if they're full. It's your fault that I never loved you, my dad said it last Christmas. He started drinking from my birth. Mom came home from work and asked me sometimes if I saw him drinking today. This is my fault. I was a rat, he said. He was an alcoholic, but the eight-year-old girl was to blame for not lying to her mother. My alcoholic mother used to tell me every three months like clockwork till age 24 that she hated me and wished I would die. Seriously? Freak alcoholic parents. I'm sorry you had to go through that. I'm gonna give you something to cry about, aw yes. Telling your crying child to stop crying by saying something threatening. My mom used to do it and also say, grab my studded belt to hit me with it, but rarely did. She just knew I was scared shitless of that belt lol. But yeah, it's insane. Threatening your scared kid isn't the way to go. When your own parents compare you to other children. It happened to me a lot and it happened to me today, actually like 30 minutes ago. Wipe your tears mate, boys don't cry. Guilt tripping them into doing things they don't want to do by saying things like, do you not love me, and etc. When a parent says you were just like your other parent after you did something they disapprove of, it really messes with the dynamic you have with the parent who said it and the child begins to wonder if their parents really love each other if being like the other one is a negative attribute. You're not pretty when you do that to a crying girl and you act like a girl when you do that to a crying boy. Guessing the motivations behind your actions based on how they think your mind works. Dad, I can cheat if she can't cook, clean, and work. Me, even though she dying from cancer. Dad, yes. If is mean to you it just means they like you, this is what leads to future abusive relationships, making your kids think that abuse is a form of affection. If I had known, I wouldn't have had children. Me, mom, I feel like I want to die. I want to hurt myself. My mom. Suicide? You know how selfish that is. What about everyone else? Do you ever think about anyone but yourself? Look at other kid. Why can't you be more like them? If I turned around and said the same thing, I'm the bad kid at. Starting at about age 11, my mom spoke to me like I was an adult peer, telling me about how unhappy she was, grievances with my dad, regrets about life, how my sister didn't like her, chronic pain issues etc etc. She didn't seek anyone else out besides me, so I felt responsible for making her happy. My dad didn't say anything toxic because he doesn't talk to his family beyond surface level topics. Really freaked me up. I have some deep resentment towards my parents. Critiques on any physical choices their child makes or want to make about their appearance. They want to grow their hair long? Let them. They want it short? Let them. Etc. Obviously, you can help guide them, but laughing and judging will just mess them up. I have long hair, and my mom is always boys need to dress neat only girls can have long hair. Then she says, do you want me to buy you a little hair bow? Also comparing me to other children. 
My friend's mom uses the because L said so when she doesn't have a reason as to why they have to or can't do something. I'm the adult so I'm right, dot argue back to adults, whatever, boys aren't supposed to cry, comparing the child to another child, you need to cheer up. Comparing you to your siblings. Boys don't cry. Because I said so, when you ask them why to do this thing, don't dress up to look pretty that's for girls. My family not just parents but siblings too would go on gushing about how accomplished and smart and so on other people and their children were, as a form of conversation possibly. Never had any interest in what I was doing or thinking or worried about. You could stand to lose a few pounds, a few years later, anorexia lost that weight and then some. It can't be that damn hard to, yes. Yes it can. After 11 hours of school and homework and working on projects, it's not always super easy to clean everything and do laundry and water plants and whatnot. Give me a break please. Everyone has problems. No crap. Everyone has problems but that doesn't mean my problem is nothing. It's still something that bothers me and invalidating my feelings is just stupid f. You don't get to be mad at me. I do so much for you. Backstory. When I was around 12, my mom went through my phone and saw that I vented to my friend about what a witch she was that day. My mom gets screaming mad at the drop of a hat, she's a cool person until the slightest thing goes wrong, and then she's a total witch to everyone around her, regardless of if they had anything to do with why she's mad. I try to always stay calm and let the storm pass over when that happens, and it usually does. But that day, it was just a 24-hour typhoon of F you, and I just needed to vent to someone about it. Then mom got the bright idea to go through my phone when I was away from it and read my texts. Got a whole long speech about how she does so much for me, and I am never allowed to be mad at her, and she blocked my friend on every site I was in contact with them on, and threatened to take my phone if I ever tried to talk to them again. Still feel really bad ghosting my bestie like that. This is Reddit Rundown. If you are new here, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell for more updates. Thanks for watching.